Hello, this is Kedra with the Oracle's Touch. Welcome to this touch meditation session. This is a journey to reconnect with your body, ground with your spirit, and mend the disconnection that you may feel from past trauma. This journey aims to help you reconnect. Whether you're sitting or lying down, allow my voice to be your guide in this place of healing. Please ensure that you are in a safe, quiet place, away from heavy machinery or distractions. It's important to listen using earbuds or headphones for a more immersive experience. For personalized sessions tailored to your needs, whether in person or distance or recorded sessions, please find more information in the description box below. And thank you for joining me today. Now let's take a slow, deep breath in and out, letting my voice guide you through each step. Remember, this is your sanctuary, a place of safety, healing, and profound peace. Make sure you're comfortable and that your body is supported and at ease. And if you haven't already, just close your eyes gently. And let's start by focusing on your breathing. Letting each inhale and exhale flow naturally, slowly guiding you into a state of peace. Now I'd like you to extend your fingertips and softly place them on the very top of your head. This area is often associated with higher consciousness and spiritual connection. It is your first point of contact. Now let's gently begin to massage your scalp with loving intention. Imagine each small circular motion of your fingers releasing any tension held within your mind inviting clarity and calm. Allow your touch to be both a physical and emotional connection. And with each motion, feeling, sensation, and emotion, let it be a bridge to your highest self. Now let's gradually move your fingers down towards your forehead. Here the skin often holds stress, worry, the burdens of overthinking. And as you touch this area, envision any mental clutter dispersing. Making room for serenity and light. Use tender, sweeping motions to massage across your forehead, back and forth, easing away any lines of tension. Back and forth, back and forth.
Now let's shift your focus slightly to the sides of your temples. This area can be a nexus of strength, reflecting the chaos of our thoughts. With gentle pressure, circle your fingertips, creating soothing waves of relaxation. With every circular motion, visualize the release of any pent-up thoughts or anxieties, letting them drift away, drift away with every circular motion. You can move up the temples and go down a little further. Just circular motions. Now, carefully with the softest touch, let's move to your closed eyelids. The windows to the soul, the gateways to your deepest self. Here, we're going to let your fingers rest momentarily, just covering them, laying them on your eyes, giving them a sense of safety and security. Acknowledging the darkness and the calm. Appreciating the subtle movements that your eyes are making. Fluttering beneath your touch. And let's offer gratitude for their ability to see beauty, to witness love, to know truth. And covering these eyes, these beautiful eyes of yours. I'd like you to whisper to yourself, with every touch, I invite light and peace to my vision and I'd like you to go from just covering your eyes to lifting and gently touching lifting and gently touching at your own level of comfort continuing to whisper to yourself with every touch I invite light and peace into my vision. Just continue to receive that light and that peace, feeling the comfort and the sensations of this touch against your eyes. Letting it bring safety to you. Now we're going to continue downwards to your cheeks. The bearers of smiles and canvases of emotions. And as you touch your cheeks, let your fingertips just dance lightly, tapping, tracing the path of joy and tears. This touch affirms your resilience, your capacity for both happiness and sorrow. Drawing your fingers down down your cheeks, 
gently tapping going to your lips firmly touching gently tapping whatever feels comfortable your body will let you know what it needs down to your chin across your lips and as your fingers are touching your lips I'd like you to feel yourself smile offer your lips a smile even if it's unseen feel it in your heart and I'd like you to whisper with intention and warmth I am safe, I am loved, and let these words be your shield, your healing mantra, turning fear into peace and anxiety into calm. And just notice the symphony of sensations the warmth of your touch, the smoothness of your skin, the gentle pulse of life beneath your fingertips. Breathe deeply, inviting this to resonate with your spirit, bringing you a deep sense of unity, relaxation, and peace. Now I'd like you to take your fingertips and we're going to gently tap where the jaw begins. Going to the chin, going back up, just feeling the gentle tapping of all your fingers at once. Just stimulating the skin. So much stress is here, I'd like you to feel it just start to melt away, to disperse with every tapping. Now I'd like you to start at your chin, moving out in sections, following the line of your jaw in circular motions, feeling that tension releasing, all of that tension you've been carrying. And we're going to move up to the temples and back down by the ears where the jaw meets, following that jawline again, letting more tension leave, really feel that relaxation with every circular motion, getting closer to the chin now, getting towards the chin and now you're on the chin and right above the chin, circular motions. Take a deep breath in, letting all of that tension release on the out breath. Now we're going to move to the ears. I'd like you to go where your ear and your jaw are meeting and there's a little bit of cartilage right there. Just start rubbing that area where your ear begins. To your own level of comfort, please. Nothing too hard. 
Nothing too soft, just right to where you feel relief, relaxation. And we're gonna rub here for a little bit. You may feel some tickling. You may feel some itching. We're just moving around energy. Moving around energy. Now we're going to go to the outer ear, the full outer ear, and gently cover the whole ear with our fingers and our thumbs resting on our neck, kind of cupping our jaw. Rubbing your ears in circular motions. You could tap them as well if you'd like. Do a combination of whatever feels comfortable to you. Your body will let you know what it likes. And what I'd like you to do now is I'd like you to go to the back of your neck with both hands, your fingers pressing into the back of your neck on both sides. And I'd like you to gently come down to the front of your throat. And then I'd like you to start at the underside of your chin, moving down to where your clavicle is. Just gently smoothing that out. You can do an up sweep motion and then a down. You can do tapping. You can do tapping or a sweeping motion. Whatever feels good to you. from behind our ears now, down to our clavicle, smoothing, giving those lymph nodes a little bit of drainage, down into your clavicle. Now I'd like you to bring your awareness to your shoulders. Notice any residual tension that be, may be lingering there. And with a gentle touch, place your palms on your shoulders. You can do this one at a time. If you wanna to try to do both, your fingertips, your palms, whatever's comfortable, whatever your flexibility range. You can use your fingertips or your palms, just as long as you're making that connection with your shoulder. Feeling the weight of the world melting away as you apply slight pressure and release. And with each squeeze and release, imagine letting go of any burdens that you've been carrying, whether they're yours or other people's. Allowing your shoulders to relax and your energy to lighten. Now we're going to continue the journey by focusing on your arms. Begin by extending one arm at a time, feeling the energy and the strength that resides within them. With mindful intention, I'd like you to run your fingers and your palms down each arm. We're gonna start with whichever one you're comfortable with first your body's going to tell you which arm needs it first. Listen to that. You can tap. You can gently trace. 
tracing the contours of your muscles, your bones, your elbow, your wrists. From the shoulders all the way down to your wrists. Front, back, all the way around, traveling to your armpits. They need love too. Now we're going to do the same on the other arm. Just exploring the feelings, feeling that strength. You do so much work with your hands, your arms, you carry so many things. sensations, feel the relaxation. You may be getting goosebumps. It just may feel really relaxing. You can feel a sense of relief. You may even start to feel pressure points in your back because now your back is wanting that same interaction with you. We'll get there. Now I'd like you to shift your focus to your hands. These are the extensions of your heart and soul. They are the tools of touch and creation. I'd like you to bring each hand into your line of sight, looking at the intricate design and capability that they hold. Take a moment to appreciate the dexterity and the grace of your fingers. You can tap them together, open and close your hands, spread your fingers. Just marveling at them. You can wiggle them slowly. Just really appreciate how they move. Each one unique, yet they work in perfect harmony. Now I'd like you to bring your fingertips together, intertwining them in a gesture of unity. And that can be however you want to entwine them. You could cup your hands, you could grasp your hands, you can touch them together as in prayer, just as long as they are making a connection with one another. Connecting, empowering. Now we're going to gently press our palms together Sensing the grounded strength that lies within this connection, feeling the warmth. You can hold your hands that are together, palm to palm, by your heart space. And I'd like you to whisper to yourself, to affirm to yourself, I am present, I am strong. And let these words resonate within you, grounding you, grounding you in the present moment and reminding you of the inner fortitude that you possess. Allow the sensations of touch and strength to permeate your being, anchoring you in a state of presence. 
interconnectedness of your mind, body, spirit. Now I'd like you to open your hands and I'd like you to place those hands gently over your heart tuning into the rhythmic beats that resonate beneath your palms each thump a declaration of your resilience your capacity to weather storms and emerge stronger feel the warmth emanating from the core of emotion of life this sanctuary of love and courage I'd like you to guide your hands in a slow and deliberate circular motion over your chest, following the contours of your chest, your rib cage, your sternum. With each round, envision a circle of compassion expanding around you enveloping you in a cocoon of self-love and understanding. And as your touch traverses this sacred space, recognize the depth of your emotions that are happening now. The wellspring of empathy that resides within. Now we're gonna go from our chest, allowing our hands to travel downward from the chest to our abdomens, tracing the path of breath and vitality. As you reach your abdomen, take a moment to focus on your breathing allowing your belly to rise and fall beneath your touch. You can tap with your fingertips or palms or gently press your palms or circular motions, tracing, whatever you feel called to do, your body will let you know. Focusing on each breath, each touch, each motion, each tracing, and let each breath deepen your connection to the present moment, anchoring you here and now. Inhale deeply, feeling your lungs with life. As you exhale, whisper softly to yourself, I am connected, I am whole. And with each repetition of these, this affirmation, feel the integration of mind, body, and spirit. I am connected, I am whole. I am connected, I am whole. Feel the integration of mind, body, and spirit. I am connected. I am whole. Sense the unity within yourself, the harmony that flows from heart to abdomen, binding you in a seamless tapestry of existence. Let's take a moment to reflect and embrace the vulnerabilities and strengths that reside within your chest and abdomen. You're probably feeling your back right now because your back is really wanting to be a part of this. So let's begin by reaching out to our backs. This might require some movement and flexibility, but the act itself reinforces your intention to nurture every part of you. 
Your back, often unnoticed, is a foundational pillar of strength, bearing so much of the burden of your daily efforts and stresses. What I'd like you to do is put your hands on your knees, sitting up, and I'd like you to rotate your shoulders in circular motions. Feeling those muscles. We're just rotating our shoulders. Now we would like you to take your hands off your knees, bend your elbows, and I'd like you to take those elbows and pull them around to the back as far as you can go to your own level of comfort stretching feeling that back get a nice stretch pull around to the front as far as you can go going back with a nice squeeze as far as you can go just a nice squeeze in the back back to the front squeezing in the back Back to the front, bringing the elbows back for that squeeze. Very good. What I'd like you to do with gentle, loving hands, massage any area within your reach. This could be with the back side of your hands, you can trace up and down back side of your hands. Maybe your thumbs can reach a little bit higher. Just that touch. Reach over your shoulders. Give those parts a squeeze. Feel your shoulder blades. Just touch. Your back longs to be touched so much. You can use one hand to help you go back a little further. Going over your kidneys, down to your buttocks. Wherever you can touch the back side of your hand and your thumbs, over your shoulders, right by the neck, those muscles right there. All of those reaching over into the back and giving it a nice squeeze, giving it a nice squeeze. There you go. Feels so good. Let that tension release. Squeezes, circular motions, gentle strokes, whatever feels most comforting. And as you do this, mentally express your gratitude towards your body for its resilience and unwavering support. Just imagine releasing any stored tension with each touch, each squeeze, each tracing. Allowing a sense of relief and appreciation to permeate through your skin. And just get a few last squeezes and touches there as we transition our focus to our legs the very essence of our mobility and support. Now let's begin at the thighs, the powerhouses that carry much of our body's strength. With both hands, envelop them, caressing them with reverence and care, moving slowly towards the knees, doing the sides, the tops, the inner thighs, the backs of the thighs, wherever you can reach in those thighs, gently motioning over them. You can tap them and squeeze them, trace them, whatever feels good to you in each moment. And let's recognize the journey that your legs have been through. Every step, every sprint, each moment of rest or motion. 
and we're going to go move to our knees tenderly circle them you can rub with your fingers a little deeper you can tap circle them whatever feels comfortable to you acknowledging their vital role in your flexibility and your movement and let's continue your hands journey down your shins and your calves areas that often go unnoticed until they protest <laughs> with discomfort or fatigue. Let's caress them. Really feeling those muscles in the back, those ligaments. You can use your hand, you can use your fingers, you can gently squeeze if you're able to. Expressing silent gratitude for their support and their resilience. Let's just glide down to our ankles, rotating the sides, feeling the fluidity of movement, the intricacies of the bones and the muscles and the tendons, and all of the joints working in perfect harmony. And let's not forget that Achilles tendon at the back. That's very overlooked. It's a very pivotal part of our movement. And that takes us into our feet. Now with immense gentleness and care, I want you to cradle your feet. You can do this one at a time. The feet are recognized in many traditions as the roots of the body connecting us to the earth, grounding us in our environment. Your feet deserve attention and gratitude. So let's begin by massaging the soles, perhaps applying pressure to the points that feel particularly tense or tender. Moving to the arches or the middle of the feet, you can do squeezes and circular motions. You can have your thumbs on the top of your feet and just rubbing, rubbing in the middle of the feet. You can slide back down to the soles of your feet, applying pressure, moving back to the arch and the top of your feet. Moving to each toe now, acknowledging their role in balance and movement, thanking them with soft touches, tickles, tingles, squeezes. Remember these feet have walked paths both smooth and rugged, carrying you through life's journey. And as you continue this touch meditation on your feet, just allow yourself to feel more rooted and connected with the earth beneath you. With each gentle press or caress, just envision drawing up stability and strength from the ground, reinforcing your foundation of peace and groundedness. In this moment, you've connected with your back and legs and your feet. Just feel the unity and balance within your body. Acknowledging these nurtured pillars that are so essential. Reinforcing your wholeness and groundedness. With soul and body.
As this session comes to a close, I'd like you to wrap your arms around yourself in a very warm embrace, warm and loving embrace. Recognize this touch as a symbol of acceptance and self-love. And say, I am here. I am whole. I am loved. I am here. I am whole. And I am loved. Let's take a few deep breaths in, letting each exhale carry away any lingering tension or disconnection. Imagine as you inhale, you're filling yourself with light and peace, and with each exhale, you're releasing any remnants of fear, anxiety. And that feels good. You can wiggle your body out a little, side to side. As we slowly bring our awareness back to the room, we can wiggle our fingers, we can stretch, roll our shoulders, twist side to side, stretch our legs out. And when you're ready, open your eyes and carry this sense of peace and connection with you, knowing you can return to this space of inner healing anytime. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this helps. Namaste.